Welcome to Headway 101. My name is Corey Freeman, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Facebook add-on block that I developed and is being sold on Headway Extend. Uh, so let's get started. First, we need to install the block. So go ahead and go to your WordPress administrative dashboard, go to Plugins, and click Add New, and then Upload. You'll download the zip file from Headway Extend, and then you'll need to upload it to your website. Let me just see if I can track it down. Click Install Now, and then Activate. OK. So now let's go ahead and add it to a page on our site. Open up the visual editor in grid mode. And I'm just going to go ahead and add it to this random page I opened. I'll delete this widget block. All right. Click and drag like you would to create any other block. Go down to More Blocks and then click Facebook. The default functionality is Facebook comments, but you can actually do four different things with this plugin. You can do Facebook comments, a like button, a like box, and a subscribe box for public profiles. Um, let's go ahead and see what the Facebook comments look like. So it's just on default setting. All right, it'll load the box. This is a Facebook comment for this page. Facebook comments are specific to the page that they'll be posted on. So if I added it to a different page, say this archives page give me one second okay and open it up in the link you'll see that it isn't loading comments from the resources page. So it works basically like any other commenting system, only going through Facebook. The second functionality we have, and I guess I'm on the archives page now, is the like button. This like button is similar to the comments and that it is specific to the page or post you're on. There are, of course, settings. For instance, the comments, um, you can choose the number of full comments to display. By default, it'll display five full comments, and then it'll show the click to see more comments button. For the like button, which is what we're looking at now, you have the standard layout, which is what you see here. There's the box count. And the button count. You can turn faces on and off, and you can also enable or disable the send button. Okay. The next functionality we have is a like box, which is pretty much your most used Facebook developer application. I'll just type in facebook.com slash headway101 as my Facebook page URL. Your URL will probably be different unless you want to promote my website for no apparent reason. <laughs> and here you can see it shows up with your page, your stream, the people who have liked it. And if you go down to like box over here in settings, uh, you can choose whether or not to show the faces, get rid of the stream, get rid of the header. This this block will resize itself um, to fit any dimensions you need. So actually, if I make it bigger, oops, having click and drag issues. That's me being awake at 11 a.m. That's not headway. <laughs> you can see it'll get a lot bigger depending on how big you make the block. All right, the final function is a subscribe box. So if you're marketing yourself under a personal brand and you want people to be able to subscribe to your Facebook status updates and such, this is how you do it. Here you put in a profile URL. By default, the block will load Mark Zuckerberg, but just switch it out for your own. And it works in the same way as a like button or the like box count. 
um, only this time people are going to be liking you and not a page or a post. So that is pretty much all the functions of the Facebook block. It is available for $10 on Headway Extend. Let me see if I think it's on their Facebook. <laughs> there we go. I couldn't find the URL, but now I can. Okay. $10 under Headway Extend. You do actually need Headway to use the block, but I'm assuming you'd be using it anyway if you're watching this video. Check out headway101.com for more information on add-on blocks and tutorials for Headway themes. I'm Corey Freeman. Thanks for watching.